Leipzig is one of the fastest growing cities in Germany. Though not a large city, the population grew by more than 15,000 last year alone. Leipzig is young and dynamic. But what's really driving the boom is an upswing of industry and business. Many compare Leipzig to Berlin 15 years ago because so much is happening. As a young person, you like to help shape the city, and you can do that here. I think the cliché thing to say is that it feels like there's a lot of freedom, but it does. I mean. <laughs> Urban sociologist Dieter Rink has studied the dramatic changes that Leipzig has undergone in recent decades. In former communist East Germany, it was a showcase city, but after German reunification, local industry collapsed, prompting nearly 100,000 people to leave. For the most part, the city's development was driven by crisis, but with a new millennium came hope, life returned to the city, and in recent years there's been a sense of euphoria, with great hopes and expectations for the future. Instead of 600,000, Leipzig's population is expected to grow to 700,000 or more. Leipzig has managed to attract major companies like Porsche, BMW and logistics company DHL. That has led to steady economic growth in recent years, which has in turn attracted more people and crucially more investors. Some have joined an initiative called Spin Lab, designed to lend a helping hand to young entrepreneurs that show potential. SpinLab is a support program for startup companies. It lasts for six months. So after passing through our selection process and holding their own against the competition, startups get a free six-month mentoring program. Eric Weber and his team help the new companies link up with investors, meaning they can usually access money much more quickly. It's initiatives like this one that make Leipzig a real alternative to the German capital, Berlin. The aim is to keep the most promising business initiatives here in Leipzig and the region, to offer them something so that they don't move to other cities, and even to draw new companies from other cities, or even other countries in the long run. One man who's made it to the top already is Peter Maria Schnur with his gourmet restaurant Falco. He has two Michelin stars and gourmet guy Gomio has named him Germany's chef of the year. When he came to Leipzig 11 years ago, his experimental and lively cuisine was an immediate hit. People here just like us. They're proud of this restaurant. And a lively, exuberant city like Leipzig with its active arts scene is clearly much nicer than being in a more conservative place. Alternative communities mushroomed in Leipzig after German reunification. Many moved into derelict houses and factories. Bertram Schulze was one of them. He came to Leipzig as an architect in 1994. Joining forces with other artists, he transformed an old textile factory into a lively center for art and culture. There was this tension about being in a factory that was virtually empty, but where the working rhythm was still very much evident. There was the horn that sounded at break time, where the workers came in and out. I think that influenced many who were pioneers here. There are possibilities here for everyone, and that's something that I don't sense in other cities. Today, the Spinnerei, or spinning mill, is a flagship cultural center in Leipzig. Its alternative flair draws artists from all over the world. The old factory building offers space for living and working. Leipzig is quite famous for painters. And uh, yeah, you feel it in the whole atmosphere here. It's like a little artist's village, and it's really inspiring to have to be surrounded by so many people who take their work seriously. For me, it's like six months of an escape from the busyness of New York City to focus on painting and have a lot of space to do so. Cultural diversity, a thriving economy, and a growing population. Leipzig is booming in every way.